we're going to have a look at arm spirals and how we break them um, at the elbow, at the shoulder, and at the shoulder blade as well. So we'll start with one hand. So for me, it's going to be my right hand. I'm going to start fully rotated back. So my pivot point is through the third finger. The palm's facing up, so I'm trying not to make any weird postures with my hand. Um, and so it's all come through all the way. The shoulder blade should end up driving down the back um, and the elbow crease pointing up towards the ceiling. Cool. So from there, we're just gonna try and rotate from the elbow. So if I rotate to there, that's as much as I can get from my elbow. So it's as if I'm holding my bicep here and just in the movement, rotate from the elbow joints. So that's your ulna and your radius. They wrap around each other there. So from there, once we've done that, we're gonna just rotate now from the elbow up to what we call the shoulder joints. Um, so you're gonna rotate into here. If you notice my scapula, my shoulder blade hasn't moved at all at this point. Then when you run out of space there, then you're gonna keep it rotating, but you're gonna let that shoulder blade come up and over. Cool, and then you can reverse it to come back if you want. So you can go from the elbow, from the humerus, then the shoulder blade comes down and feel the chest starts to lift. So again, one, two, three, and back one, two, three. Cool. Then you're going to try it on the other arm. So then you can just see if there's any difference between the two. So with me, this is my better arm. So here we go. I rotate from the elbow, from the shoulder joint and then let the scapula come over. So much easier for me. And back over. Cool. So if you find one of those bits are a little bit sticky, then we can just start working into that little bit. So if for instance, I realize that that shoulder joint there isn't doing much, then I might want to just work that position. So I've gone from the elbow. I might only get a little bit of movement there to start with without the shoulder blade moving. But then I can just play in that, being very mindful of what I want to do to cheat it and let that all happen in there. And then, if we really want to bulletproof this and send this on, then we can do both hands to the full spiral. So this one, I have one palm facing up and one palm facing all the way down. So we've got the shoulder blades in play as well. We've waxed it to full range. Then we go from the elbows from to the, up to the, the shoulder joints and then let's the scapulas come into play. Then the other way, elbow joints, up to the shoulder joints, and then let the scapulas work. So we're just playing at isolating everything. But the first pause of call, work out where it's sticky. So let's say it's the elbow this time, and then just work the joint which is sticky without allowing the compensation to do all the work, which if my elbow joint wasn't moving, might be up here in the shoulder. I might try and get all my motion from my scapula.